this afternoon we are with a pack of wild dogs and it's definitely casting a huge overwhelming sense of nostalgia because the one female is very heavily pregnant and we are within a stone's throw from where the pack of two wild dogs from last year with the female with one ear denned. Fingers crossed, although we don't want to get our hopes up too high, that they may go and start scratching around here. With her being this heavily pregnant, it's very likely that she's going to start looking for a den pretty soon. And we know in the past we've been let down. They were digging around at a den. Often when the females are just about to give birth, they'll dig away at a burrow, just sort of nesting and preparing it for when she does give birth. But they've been seen doing this on Londolozi in the past, and the very next day they gave birth on one of the neighboring reserves. So we don't want to get our hopes too high but it is still very exciting and nostalgic. Go ahead, Captain. It's getting dark now. We'll leave them in and around this area and hopefully come back tomorrow with the hopes of finding them digging away at a burrow. We've had a pretty frantic morning. We've come back out to try and find the pack of wild dogs. Yesterday they were seen digging away at a termite mound, especially the pregnant female, because as soon as she starts getting close or near to the time she wants to give birth, they start looking for the appropriate den sites to use. And in her, in her sort of wanting to nest down, they then will dig away at a mound to make sure that it is perfect for the pups. So we've come down this morning, and had a brief view of two adult males and three youngsters. The youngsters were all covered in blood, so we presume they had just made a kill. And we then found a bit of the remains of the kill. But now it's a bit of a goose chase because we lost view of them there. And we're just driving around checking every mound, hoping to try and find them again. We come straight back out to the termite mound where the female was digging. And we found five wild dogs here. So it's great news that they're here but there's supposed to be eight wild dogs in this pack so it starts to lead us down the lines of thinking maybe one of the females is inside the den as we speak they go into the den when they're giving birth and she'll often stay there for a few days um, whilst the rest of the pack will go off hunting they then come back carrying a lot of the food inside their bellies and they'll regurgitate some of that up for the female so she'll come out and then feed and potentially go back in there to care for and nurse her young. There's still three dogs missing from this pack. Let's keep our fingers crossed in case this is the current den that they are using. The wild dogs have moved away. Obviously they're quite sensitive with the vehicle here. So we've sat this one out for the entire afternoon with no further signs of the wild dogs coming back to this termite mound. We don't want to stay here too long. It's getting dark. So let's head on back to camp and we'll come out first thing tomorrow morning. It's just first light. We're heading straight back down to where we last saw the pack of wild dogs last night. Fingers crossed that they're all still going to be there. Okay, we found them. They are currently about 200 meters or so away from the den they were digging at yesterday.
we have no signs of where the alpha female is, so that leads us even more down the road to believe that she's inside a den somewhere. One of the males has been digging away at another mound, so they're probably in that mindset, they're a little bit broody, they don't know what's going on, and so let's just stay with them a bit longer. We're pretty sure that they're going to set off hunting, and after that they'll most likely go back to the den where the female is, because they need to feed her. So, very exciting morning, at least we found them, they're around, they haven't moved on off too far away from that initial den that we found. the wild dogs have been keeping us very much on edge at the moment. They've been milling about in the burnt section here. We had a controlled burn that came through. All of the brown leaves, or the burnt grass, helps them just blend in and they pretty much vanish as soon as they stop. They've come right past the suspected termite mound where we think the female may be inside, but none of them went straight up to the mound. So. Sort of, we're not too sure exactly what's going on here, but this time of morning they're probably going off hunting, so I doubt they're going to be lurking around or milling about. They're going to utilize the cool hours of the morning and potentially after they've finished hunting, then go back to the den. So we're going to make a little bit of space for the other guys, but we'll listen out on the radio and we'll be able to update you from there.